Hey everyone, hey, I was just at the supermarket today and I came across this Anchor Uno product that I've been seeing advertised quite a lot and it made me think, I've really been wanting to write this article for ages about why I'm not a fan of these sucky yogurts for multiple reasons, but really this particular product is getting on my nerves a little bit and I thought, okay, I'm just going to come on and do a quick video. Um, hey Letitia, how's it going? I really need to start planning these a little more. You guys, I would love it if you would comment and say um, where you're watching the video from because I can't see who watches the video unless you do a comment and it would be nice to know. So just um, comment below where you're watching from and let me know um, what brands of yogurt you um, find best. I know there's people maybe watching from different countries but I think a lot of the brands, there's similar brands. Um, and it's like a no, it's not a judgment on anybody who feeds their children um, a particular brand of yogurt. I mean, I used to feed Dom all of these and it's just more, I get annoyed about the companies and their tactics for marketing this, especially I feel like to mothers who are tired. Hey John, how's it going? Hey Kate, oh you're from New Plymouth, cool, my old hometown. So. Uh, I just wanted to get on and talk to you because today um, they're really um, going for it with this. I don't know if you've seen, but look, oh, again, I think it's back to front. But they've upped the ante here, the Uno people, um, and you know, this is a Fonterra product. Uh, so, you know, I guess only one good reason to really buy this product might be to support our national economy. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, the lowest, so what it says in really big word letters is the lowest sugar. So I stood there today in um, New World, where I was because, hey, New World's doing that cool thing with the kids, um, those pot plant things that you can get, which are great. So I um, saw mums go there, scan the shelves of all these suckies and pick this because you're in a rush and it tells you it's the lowest sugar. So I thought, look, I just want to tell you a few things as to why I would dig a little deeper and just think before you go and buy um, one of these. So first off is the sugar claim. And actually, it's not a really high sugar one. I mean, it's there's about, and, and all this, this is 100 grams, so it's quite easy to do it. So in this 100 gram sachet, um, you've normally got naturally occurring lactose. And that varies, but you've got about three to four grams of lactose in 100 grams. Um, and then this product is 7 point, um, what's this one? That one's 5.7, this one's 7.1 um, grams of sugar. So then you've got about another teaspoon or just under another teaspoon of added sugar. So again, it's not the end of the world or anything, but the thing about it is, is that look, look a little closer. It's the lowest sugar of kids yogurt brand. So what is that? I mean, you know, first thing that springs to mind to me is that generally speaking, most kids brands are um, higher in sugar, you know, so if they're the lowest of the kids brands, it's not really saying a whole lot. I mean, we all know that the kids brands, the kids chicken nuggets, everything kids tend to have more sugar. Um, hey Shaya, oh from Palmerston North, you've got, um, what have you got, uh, a bit young, oh okay, yeah so, hey Barbara how's it going, um, so, the thing is that this one is, it's, it's the lowest sugar of the kids yogurt brand, asterisk, average sugar percentage top five kids yogurt brands from Nielsen report, so, um, there's been some report done. They've taken the average percentage. All you have to do there is have one really high um, sugar yogurt in amongst those ones they've taken it from. It will push the average really high and mean that these guys can come in lower. I mean, it's of us. I just rang today Anchor and asked them to send me because it's kind of what I do as a leftover vestige of being a lawyer is that I like to research stuff. So I've asked them to send me this survey. It will be interesting to see what the survey says. It'll also be interesting to see how soon they get me this the survey to me to look at. But it's not hard to manipulate things here. I mean, you you can, you know, just pick five brands. You choose them. You're, you're choosing what these kids' yogurt brands are. And anyway, but the whole thing is here is that I'm not actually having a go at them so much for the sugar. What I'm having a go at them for is... Um, this is the problem now that we've all got on the sugar bandwagon, which is great because sugar is the main problem, but it's not the only problem. And this product also has wonderful ingredients. What has it got? 
um, thickener 1422, 144, it's got preservative 202, natural color, calming, natural, um, natural flavor. So natural flavors are not as natural as you might think because if they were just purely natural, like a mashed up banana, it would just stay that. So a lot of the times what I've read about is that you can't distinguish a whole lot between something that's the artificial and natural by the time at the end of the day, all the processes they've gone through. It's concocted in a laboratory. So a lot of people are very wary, and myself included, of these natural flavors, natural colors. And you can, when you smell these, you can smell, they don't, they don't smell like just a normal product. So anyway, the thing here is that the carmine is particularly um, something that can be problematical. The other one, I wrote down some notes here, um, preservative 202. It's made from petroleum. It's linked with possible level damage, behavioral problems linked with asthma, skin issues. Um, it's not, I think it might be, and I need to check, but I think it's um, not allowed for infants. Um, this, you know, it's, it's a big deal that it's low in sugar. It's got all these other issues with it. So just don't be fooled and think, okay, I'm going to go for it because of the sugar. So reason number one is that I don't think it's as low as sugar as it could be because there's definitely products, there's definitely the yogurts out there which are just plain. But I get it that our kids like to have some sweet taste. So... I'm not totally having a go at them on the sugar side, just it's more the second thing is that there's all these other things, there's all these additives and preservatives. But then one thing that I think that people, you know, you might not realize is that this is $1.99. Like it's nearly $2 for 100 grams of yogurt. And you can get um, really good, really good quality. You can get organic biofarm yogurt or you can get um, that one you can get for 65 cents per hundred, so this will cost you 65 cent, cents. You can get YoPlay, you can get P Piaco um, for a dollar a hundred grams. Then you can get Gopala for 44 cents. Um, yeah, and the YoPlay is 40 cents. So it's much, much cheaper to buy in bulk and then put it in one of these, um, like we use the Kai Carrier, and I meant to come in here and um, oh, show you one. But, you know, a plastic pouch that's reusable. So it's expensive. And I get a bit annoyed because people often say that eating real food is expensive. But buying this kind of stuff, that's expensive. And then the other thing is, uh, and it really doesn't take much time. Like, I can show you, but, you know, you get those plastic pouches. You just buy the, the better quality yogurt, um, the plain one, mix in some berries or whatever you want, put it in the Kai Carrier, reuse it. It's easy, and it really doesn't take much time. And think how much money you save. Other thing is environmental impact. And I know a lot of these ones... Um, will now be telling you about how great it is. Hey, Pamela. Oh, watching from Brisbane. Bra so, sorry. Just got a phone call. Um, so, basically, there's environmental impact as well. And, I oh, that's right. I was telling you that. They do say that you can... Um, what can you do? You can, you can put them in, you know, for getting recycling. But the amounts that you have to get in... Um, oh, what link shall I put up, John? Um, I can put the links to the, the what's in the additives and things like that. But basically, um, it's it's quite difficult. You have to collect two color jewels normally of the stuff, and you have to make sure that it's all cleaned and rinsed, and then you have to fill it in, and then your school or whatnot gets a dollar. So, you know, for two kilo, kilograms, sorry, for two kg of this, and I have to weigh these. I did weigh the last one. They, they don't weigh a lot. Um then after that you get a dollar and it's pretty that's pretty ridiculous i mean <laughs> like you might as well save your money buy the 40 cents ones every single day you'll be saving a dollar after one week you could donate seven dollars to your school um the other thing was you know it was coming out in the paper and stuff that i i meant to blog about it oh about the poachers yeah i'll put a link to the kai carrier so it's actually affecting kids, um, the structure of their jaws, apparently, because all the kids are just sucking, sucking, and not there's no chewing. I mean, to me, I know, I understand it may be convenient in the playground. They want to, like, have it really quickly. But it just, I think, contributes to that whole, um, I've seen ads for these things just saying, great, suck and go, like, one squeeze and it's gone. I mean, is that really what we want to be encouraging our kids to do? Put this in their mouth and just squeeze it? And it's, a lot of the kids can't even open this. It's really not teaching them a lot about independence. You know, they, they have to ask the teacher to open the lid. Um, that's the other thing about the environmental thing, of course, is that, and I rang the people at Sucky when they went on that whole um, bird and forest or, um, thing. Like, I really think that the birds of New Zealand would rather that you didn't just buy all this stuff. Because the other thing is, who's collecting these? 
they don't go home, do they? They stay in the classroom. They're in the rubbish dump at the schools. I don't know if you get your kids to bring home these to recycle, because to be honest, is that not something, if I even bought these, I would not be collecting them and recycling them. I just, oh, just too much of a hassle. Um, so yeah, and that really annoyed me when the sucky guys um, went with this whole forest and bird. And I want to find out how much is actually being donated because to me that again seems like a massive marketing coup. And it's not like it was a hardship for sucky. And sorry if you're overseas and you don't have this brand, but the collective suckies. The thing is that... Um, you know, plastering a whole lot of animals over their products would have not been a problem in any way for them. You know, that's a marketing coup. They get to have the animals on their products for the kids to all go, Mom, there's an animal on my product. And they get to say that they're associated with forest and bird and that you're helping the, you know, environment of New Zealand by buying these pouches. And the sucky pouches, which I haven't got any right here, some of them are only 70 grams. I mean, it's 70 grams. It's so small, it's ridiculous. So I just think for all these reasons, I'll do a quick recap. Um, oh, hey, Janine. Yeah, that's right. So, and I've seen the kids, um, Janine, they can't, you know, they can't open these. Uh, they have now fixed them. Another issue that I used to have as a problem for these was that they were actually a safety hazard because this was too small and you could have choking, but they have actually fixed that now. I mean, I don't know. I see they've got some game going. You can, you know, collect these and collect them together, but it's all just plastic crap that's you know, you can get do so much better and make all sorts of cool tastes for your friends. Um, oh, has she? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I want to get the official figures and actually see because I would be surprised um, it, how much of this is actually being recycled. Um, but even if it is, it's got those other issues which were... Look, even the sugar, yes, they may be lower sugar, but don't just believe this lowest sugar, um, you know, we can wait and see what this Nielsen report says, but I, it's not the lowest sugar versus other yogurts that are out there. You know, it's not like, I mean, since when did we need adult yogurts and kid yogurts? It's just yogurt. And if, you, if you've watched the blog, you know that we don't eat a lot of dairy. So, um, but if I was to, I would get, make sure you get full fat, um, organic if you can, but don't worry. I mean, get full fat yogurt. Avoid the gums. Um, avoid the preservatives. If there are plenty of even mainstream brands, I can't, I need to, sorry, I'll put it in the comments, but things like, um, there's, it's either, it might even be one of Anchor's own products. Um, you know, you can get them in the big tubs and they're just plain yogurt, full fat, fill the kids up for longer, the, uh, much better for them. So, the sugar claim, um, the additives and preservatives, the expense, like I just costed out all these kids' lunch boxes, and the um, the biggest expense in most of them, because I've seen how many kids have these, so one of the biggest expenses, it was like, in the real food lunches, you'd have like a dollar or a dollar fifty or sometimes two dollars for protein, like, and that's for an organic free range drumstick from both stocks, or some really good quality lamb, you know, really good protein source, they would normally be like two dollars, and then in my re in my other lunches that I was comparing it to, the the main thing that like, there isn't really any protein, but to the extent there is, it was one of these, and you know this is a two dollar item, one ninety nine or one seventy nine, it seems like in New Zealand if you get it on special. So environmentally, also I think it's terrible, and this thing with the kids' jaws. I mean, I don't know how long that takes, but it appears that dentists and people are concerned about development of kids' jaws because they're sucking. And then the independence thing. So for all of those reasons, this is why I was going to do an article why um, I think it sucks to suck or something like this, but I haven't obviously got around to doing it, so I'm just doing this bit of a rant now. Um, what else do I want to mention? It's, oh, thanks Janine for putting up the link to Kai Carrier. Yes, everybody who comes to Mothers on the Mission is going to get a Kai Carrier to sample. So um, that'll be, oh sorry, not everybody, I've got it for about four locations, in Auckland one definitely. Heidi says that she's got a brain patch out and about, there's not a lot they can eat, collective. Yeah, I haven't, oh sorry, I can't see right at the end of your comment Heidi, but I'll check it out. And I think my issue with the collective was there was a, they have the natural flavours, I believe, still in them, and I'll check it again. Um, and it was just the fact that, you know, they have the 70 gram pouches, which, to me, I mean, but I get what you're saying. I mean, that's different. To me, there's always going to be times when we do things and you weigh it up. It's like, don't think for a minute that I don't do things. I mean, even today, Dom took to school. <laughs> He's, well, not to school, to his play camp. I bought, like, those stringer cheese things, but I bought them to do a video about how I don't really um, 
think they're really good. I mean, again, it's like the sucky. They're expensive. They're processed. They've got additives. But the thing is, I was really low on food today. So I gave him one of them and I gave him in a packet like that because they know that when he goes, they'll be more fun with the other kids to open the packet. So um, we're not like 100% all like real food or anything. It's just that I just don't want people to be... Um, marketed to and to me it's these companies that are taking advantage of us and trying to pull the walls over, over our eyes that's what i get annoyed about so if you make a decision and you're like you're in the shop and you're like you know i really need something for my kids this has got not so many bad things i know it's not great for the environment but you know i'm going to get it because it's the best thing i mean that's different from every single day buying one of these for the kids lunches and that's what i want to try and um, help people and give them alternatives. So I'll put the names of some of the yogurts that I do think are great. I'll put the name of the Kai Carrier. Um, if you want to learn more like tips and tricks like this and you're in New Zealand, um, come along to one of our Mothers on a Mission ev um, events. I actually mucked up with the early bird and I had set the date so the early bird finished yesterday. I mean, more well, at midnight. So I've changed it now so it's until Monday just to give people a chance if they'd been meaning to buy today and they would have got the can't buy so if you were going to get an early bird they're 49 dollars at the moment in auckland we have a goodie bag that looks like it's going to be worth over a hundred dollars amazing products really useful products not just vouchers and stuff actual products and um similarly we've got around the country the rest of the locations look like we've got goodie bags 50 bucks plus value again really useful products and of course the main reason why you'd want to come is just um, two hours of inspiration and practical tips as well as hearing from our guest speakers and um, loads of other stuff. There's just so much cool stuff. They're going to be amazing. And sorry if you can't make it to one of the events, but also you can go to mothersonamission.co.nz and when you go there on that landing page, there's a potential to you can click through and put your name and put where you're from and if you'd like us to visit or there's some other ideas for you to be involved like taking a picture and getting in that way. So Thanks very much for watching my little rant about these products and um, I'll let you know when I hear back from them about um, what this survey actually was. Thanks again guys. Bye. Bye.